And now to a Fox 61 exclusive. The ACLU may be headed to court against the state if an agreement is not made by June. This comes after Friday's arguments were delayed in a federal class action lawsuit demanding the state take action to better protect or release inmates in Connecticut. Fox 61's Brian Didlake has the latest. The ACLU says that they are fighting for people who otherwise don't have a voice. And I was able to sit down with the family of an inmate of Osborne Correctional Institute in Summers, which now has more than 200 inmates who tested positive for COVID-19. It's, it's a horrible thing. It's, it's a horrible thing. And um, I just don't want to lose anybody else. Tara Thompson says he already lost four people to COVID-19 and cannot stand to lose another. His son, 28-year-old Terrace Thompson Jr., tested positive for coronavirus at Osborne Correctional Institute. Thompson Jr. was sentenced to five years behind bars on charges of robbery with a weapon and assault. While dealing with asthma, his father pleading for his son to be released with his health at risk. Let the kid come home and live. You know, I feel like he did what he needed to do. Um, he's not a harm to anybody and never has been. Um, let them come home, you know, or, or at least if you're not going to do that, at least treat them right while they're in there. Last week, I spoke with the family of another Osborne inmate, Christopher Matos, who also tested positive. According to family members, Matos and Thompson are roommates at Osborne and joins more than 250 inmates who have tested positive for COVID-19. But if that ratio is really what they're reporting, that is an outrageous and unacceptable number. David McGuire with the ACLU releasing the latest numbers. He says up to 780 inmates have tested positive. The statistics not sitting well with the ACLU. With two lawsuits pending, one is on a state level, the other a federal class action. Both arguing the safety of those behind bars is just as important. We know every day that goes by more people will test positive and contract it in the Department of Correction and ultimately um, in many cases, not get the medical care they need and die. When Fox 61 reached out to the Department of Corrections for comment and has not heard back at this time. But back in March, the Department of Corrections said it was looking to release eligible inmates on a case by case basis. And according to McGuire, at least 1,900 inmates have been released. Really what you're seeing is fewer people coming in. And what we're asking in the lawsuits is for a number of things. We're asking for the DOC to come up with a plan and start releasing people that are medically vulnerable or near the end of their sentence or have not been found guilty yet. People that are pretrial ought not to be sitting in there for weeks and months in dangerous conditions. And for families like Thompson who are still hopeful, they have this message. I know he's probably gonna see this. You know, I love you and I got you no matter what, no matter what happens, always, I love you. Now, both lawsuits from the ACLU are still in play. If an agreement is not made by June 1st for the federal class action lawsuit, the ACLU will go to court against the state. In Hartford, Brian Ditlake, Fox 61 News.